Welcome to an espresso from the road. While the debate about reaching the debt ceiling in the US is going on, market participants have a kind of hope that there will be a final solution. However, until the point we get there, this will lead to some volatility in the market. Once it is done and we learn that there will be no default of the US, we think that the participants on the markets will go back to the underlying main question. Does the tightening of monetary policy bite? And it seems that the central bankers themselves don't really know what impact the further very substantial tightening in monetary conditions have on the economy and inflation. Because they come up with very divergent messages. And it seems that a compromise of all this is, yes, we agree to look at the data before we take further actions. However, in Europe, both the Bank of England and the ECB are likely to go ahead with a further rate hike in June. But then we think they join the Fed in terms of waiting and seeing what happens with a further action to the economy and to inflation. Overall, the data are likely to be volatile and therefore the signals from those data to the market will be additional volatility. Underneath, we think there will be a pattern showing that the tightening in monetary conditions also leads to a tightening in financing conditions, particularly through the banking channel and eventually a slowdown in demand. This is not likely to come through in an immediate reduction in inflationary pressure. Therefore, the central banks are unlikely to cut rates soon, and this is likely to be a disappointment for markets. On top of that, they continue with a quantitative tightening in a sharper way than before, because the ECB already announced that they will do no uh, reinvestment of the maturing bonds after the 1st of July. On top of this, the Bank of Japan is likely to amend their yield curve control policy, and this might lead to a change in their quantitative easing as well, which is likely to be less aggressive as it used to be since the beginning of this year. So overall, we have a rate path that remains on an elevated level, plus an ongoing tightening in liquidity. This suggests to us that credit spreads are likely to widen somewhat, and also the spreads for the European periphery countries. So we see some tightening in financing conditions to come through over coming month. And we also think that the emerging market currencies, which did pretty well so far, except of the Turkish Lira, which has a special issue regarding the election, and there's probably more turmoil to come, the other countries did pretty well. We think in this environment of elevated US rate hikes, disappointment because of, of earlier rate cuts and a tightening in liquidity will have some implications on those currencies as well. And therefore, we think some weakening of most emerging market currencies relative to the US dollar is likely to happen in the remainder of this year. Coming back to the question, does monetary policy bite? We think yes but it takes some while before it really gets through to inflation. And therefore we think they remain and keep high the pressure for a while. And therefore expectations of rate cuts will only be fulfilled next year in the case of, e of the ECB by the end of 2024.